If this is your first time with Video Studio, or maybe you're looking for a refresher, welcome to this basic introduction. Once you start up the program, you'll see the main window of Video Studio, and it's separated into three main workspaces, Capture, Edit, and Share. The Capture workspace, as the name suggests, contains all the necessary tools to import video into the program. Maybe you shot a video of your nephew's second birthday party. It can be on a memory card, disk, webcam, or any number of other devices, and you can capture it with Video Studio. The first option in the Capture section is Capture Video. You can capture those precious family moments directly from a device like a webcam, so long as it's turned on, and connected to the computer. The DV Quick Scan option is dedicated specifically to devices that use mini DV tapes. Clicking on the button Import Digital Media allows you to import footage from a DVD so long as it's not copy protected. So you probably can't import your favorite Hollywood movie, but you can import from a DVD of a home movie from last year's Beautiful Dance Recital. In addition, if you ever back up a copy of a DVD on your computer, which is done by copying the Video TS folder to your computer, this option will be able to import from that folder. Last but not least, the Capture section of Video Studio is the place to go to start creating video that will use either stop motion or screen capture. We'll go into more detail on these two features in later tutorials. The Edit Workspace features three main tools. The upper left area of the screen is a preview area where you get your first look at the project. The bottom of the screen is the timeline, and this is where all the magic takes place. All your editing work in Video Studio is done in this section of the screen. To the upper right is the Clip Bin, which displays and organizes all of the pieces that go into your project. Let's take a look at the Clip Bin. This is your storage bin for all of the pieces that go into your project. So much can be thrown into the clip bin that it's further subdivided to make it easier to find what you need. First is media. Here is where you'll see video files, photos, and sounds. Transition effects, titles, and other effects can also be accessed and viewed in this area, and those will be covered in more detail in later videos. For now, we'll leave it set to the media section. Once we have our video in the clip bin, in this case, the footage from the second birthday party, we can move the pieces we need into the timeline. The main tracks on the timeline are the video track, overlay track, title track, and there's two audio tracks as well, one with a microphone to indicate voice, and the other with a note to indicate music. Although nothing stops you from putting music in the voice track or voice in the music track, it's simply arranged this way to make it simple and more organized. Clips can be brought into the timeline by dragging and dropping them from the clip bin or right-clicking on them and selecting to move them onto the tracks. Either way is acceptable and simply a matter of personal preference. In this example, I'll drag and drop the video and the music file into the timeline. To take a look at what you've created so far, click the play button in the preview screen. So now your project is complete and you have a lovely video in your editor of your nephew on his second birthday. When the project is complete, first go to the file menu in the upper left hand corner of the screen and click save. What this will do is create a project file. But be careful! The Video Studio project file is not an actual video. It won't play anywhere else but in the Video Studio timeline. To share your video with friends and family, use the Share tab. Click on Share and you'll see the options for exporting your video from the editor onto your computer. The Share tab is a doorway to the rest of the world. With it, you can burn video to DVD or Blu-ray or share it online. Since MPEG-4 is the most commonly used video file, this type of file is selected by default. After creating an MPEG-4 video file, you'll be able to watch your film on your computer, share the file, or put it on the web. However, you also have the option, right in this workspace, to skip ahead to a device like a smartphone or upload your video straight to the web onto YouTube. Finally, the Share Workspace has two formats for burning hard copies of your videos. 
DVD, which allows you to create a menu and then burn to a disc, and this also includes Blu-ray or even burning to an SD card. The other format is 3D, which is specific to creating various 3D movies in either anaglyph or side-by-side -side formats. More information on the various output options will be covered in later tutorials. We hope you've enjoyed this basic introduction to Video Studio.